Mikey and JJ's family love fish. And they challenged us to build the best aquarium. Whoever wins gets this giant pile of diamond. But the loser has to jump into this death pit. Louia, I don't want to fall into that death pit. Well, Pip, if you don't want to die, you need to build the best aquarium in Minecraft to impress JJ and Mikey's families. And we only have about 20 minutes to do so. Are you ready to build? I was born ready, Louie. All right, let's get started. To start, I'm going to build the foundation of my aquarium. I'm going to use these commands really quickly to clear out an area just like this. Hmm, this should be enough area to make an aquarium. Now, I'm going to use the same commands to fill it in and just add a nice foundation to this thing. I wonder what Pip's up to. Well, Louie, I'm glad you asked because I'm already starting on my aquarium and I'm gonna put dirt all around it. Um, dirt around your aquarium? Are you sure JJ and Mikey's family are even going to enjoy this thing? Well, yeah, Louie, who doesn't love a dirt aquarium? Um, most people don't like like a dirt aquarium. It's dirty and horrible. And did I forget to mention, Pip? We need to make our aquarium secure as well. I I'll, I'll make it secure. But you said most people don't like aquariums. Aquariums not for people, Louie. Aquariums are for animals. Well, that is a good point. But aquariums are to watch the animals. You know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna get on with my build. But now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the walls of my aquarium. I'm going to build them out of this really stable and secure iron blocks. This is so that it doesn't fall apart and leak everywhere, letting all of the fish out. I need to make sure these walls are really cool. And then I can split up my aquarium into different sections. One for sharks, one for regular fish. Maybe I'll do one for some puffer fish too. So let me go ahead and just finish off these walls. And boom, there we go. We have our foundation built and the start of our walls. Walls. Now what I'm going to do is raise up these walls a few blocks. And to do this, I'm going to use commands. By using these cheats, I can beat Pip once and for all in this build challenge. So let's just quickly get started on adding this wall. I'll use slash slash paste to add these walls going up. This is the easiest way to build nice tall wall. There we go. Now I've added a huge wall to the front of my aquarium. This thing is looking extremely cool. But now I need to make it look more like an aquarium. So I'm going to go ahead and add a nice rounded entrance just like this. This is looking a lot better. But now that I've built up my walls, I think this looks kind of bland so far. So I'm going to go ahead and add some stripes to it. And what better color to use than red? What color are you using to build your aquarium pit? I'm using my favorite color, Louie. Brown. Uh, brown? Um, uh, I thought it was yellow. Oh, wait, that's a good idea, Louie. I guess it is, Pip. I'm looking at your base right now, and I don't really know what you're going for here. Neither do I, Louie. I'm just going with the flow, like the fish. Well, I think thinking like a fish is a very bad idea, Pip. If you're thinking like a fish, you must have, like, a three-second memory, just like fish do. Oh, Louis, I'm tired of your insults. I'll show you when I beat you. Oh, we'll see about that. Anyways, guys, as you can see, I've added my stripes to my aquarium, and I think it's time to add maybe a little roof dome on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use this command. Here we go. I'll add this right here, and it doesn't look like I've added anything so far, but if I move out of the way, look at this huge dome I've added. Now, I just need to go ahead and use these commands to get rid of the bottom, just like this. And now we have a dome on the top of our aquarium. Aquarium. It looks super cool. I'll just go ahead and trim it a little bit more so that it's not in the way of the roof. Just like that. Hmm. And it's added a bunch of glass in the middle just like this. But I think this is a really good idea. I could go ahead and get some water like this and clear out some space underneath for a fish tank. I am a genius, even when I make mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of this dirt from the inside like this, and then I will add some walls around the fish tank. This is just so the fish don't get too dirty in this big pile of dirt. I definitely can't forget to fill it with water. That would be terrible if I just let the fish flop around. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is fill in this wall right here with iron, like this. 
I'm pretty sure JJ really appreciates a nice secure base, and I'm pretty sure Mikey likes turtles, so I'll go ahead and add those to my aquarium too. Maybe in this area right here. I cannot forget to add some grass to the bottom too, because fish do like nature as well. After all, they are animals, not savages. All right, and now that I've added all of this dirt, I can fill up this room right here with a ton of water. It's going to look amazing, guys. Let's just fill it all in on the roof like this. And there we go. Now I have an amazing little fish tank down here. There's still a few bits of water that I need to fill in, but it shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Now I can go ahead and fill in this glass. And now I have an amazing fish tank. Let's add some kelp as well, because fish love kelp. As you guys know, fish feed on kelp. They actually eat it. Ew. I thought fish ate seeds. Seeds? Pip, what kind of fish are you feeding? Well, Louie, come check out my aquarium. I'm feeding seeds to the fish. You're feeding the fish with seeds? Don't you know what they are? They eat kelp and all sorts of other things. Not these fish, Louie. These fish eat seeds. I don't know about that, Pip. When your fish die, don't come crying to me. Listen, let me actually feed them really quickly. Come on, why are they running away? I know that some fish eat other fish, so let me just do this. Eat the There you go, fish. They are going to eat that fish right now. They're all surrounding it while they're running away from your seeds. <laughs> this is incredibly funny. You're a monster, Louie. Why are you telling the fish to eat other fish? I'm just giving them what they want. But anyways, Pip, you should keep building this aquarium. It's looking trash so far. Mikey won't even like it. Get out of here, Louie. I don't care about your opinion. I care about Mikey's opinion. Mikey, do you love it? Do, do you love it, Mikey? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But anyways, I'm going to get back to my aquarium. Now, guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the roof to my aquarium. I'm going to go ahead and set it to this awesome quartz block like this. But now I can't see through the inside of my dome. I need to be able to see through the top of the roof. This is going to take a while. I'm going to have to mine out these blocks just so that I can see through this dome. Let's go ahead and just mine out the outline like this. This way, I can open up the roof section so that my visitors to my aquarium, JJ and Mikey, can look through the top and enjoy the view. So let me just go ahead and fix this roof really quickly. Then we can start adding some really cool things to my aquarium, like big, massive fish tanks and sharks too. I'm really scared of sharks, guys. What about you? Comment down below. Oh my gosh, I really don't like sharks. I know, Pip, but that's why I'm going to add sharks to my aquarium, just so that you get really, really scared. <laughs> Wait, why would you do that, Louie? Well, Pip, as you know, we are going to make these bases extremely secure. And if you can't get to my secret loot at the end of my aquarium, you technically lose and have to jump into the death pit. Oh, no, Louie. I'm going to start making my base super secure right now. I just added some lasers. Lasers? We'll see about <laughs> that, Pip. I don't think some pesky lasers will be able to stop me from beating your base. Oh, we'll see, Louie. We'll see. <laughs> uh, guys, that was really weird. Pip's voice went really deep for a second. Uh, I guess it's fine. Let's just keep building. As you can see, I've just finished the skylight. So now all of my visitors get a nice amount of sunlight they can see from. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the entrance of my aquarium just like this. And I'm going to set all of these stone bricks to red. So it's like they're walking down a nice red carpet. I feel famous right now. I'm also going to do a nice little outline like this just around this red carpet to make this place feel really luxurious. As you guys know, I love living in luxury. I'll also make this outline go around the fish tank too, so that it complements the inside of my aquarium. This is going to be the main lobby area. This is where I'm going to put the cash register here so they can buy tickets to my aquarium. I'm also going to add some fish, maybe some shark enclosures, and then in the back, the super secret vault where I keep all of my secrets. But before I do anything to do with the vault, it's time for me to work on the cash register. So I'll do it right at the front here. I'll go ahead and use these awesome prismarine blocks. This way, it'll look really cool and match the aquarium theme. 
these blocks are only found in underwater temples, which means it looks super creepy, just like the ocean. Now I'm going to add some of these blocks right here for a nice little bit of texture. This way it looks like a cash register. Now I'm going to get a block that looks a little bit like an actual cash register. Some of them are made out of wool. Some of them are made out of stairs. Some of them are made out of wood. Uh, maybe I'll use this brick one. It kind of looks like a cash register in a way. That kind of looks like the keyboard, and I need to add a TV screen. So let's do that right now. I'll add one of these very old TVs. This is what real aquariums have. But I think I'll make this cash register area really big. I'll make it two-sided like this. This is so that around the back, I can add the tickets area. So let me get some chests like this and put them behind the counter here. I'll also get some paper and an anvil. You'll see why in a second. I'll place down my anvil and rename this piece of paper Aquarium Admission Ticket. These are the tickets that my customers will be buying to get into my aquarium. And I'll make sure that I'm stocked up on them just so I don't run out in case I have a ton of customers. Louis, you think you're gonna have a ton of customers? <laughs> if you look at my aquarium, I'm gonna have way more. It just looks way better than yours. Uh, why is that, Pip? It's still built out of dirt and that nasty pea color, yellow. Ew! Well, Louis, I have glass, so that means the customers can see the fish before they come in. So, they'll wanna come in. Wait, that's actually a good point. Uh, Pip, y your base is trash. Uh, you, you don't, you stay over there. Uh, I hate it. Guys, Pip is right. Uh, if the customers can see the fish from the outside, they'll want to come in and buy more tickets. So that's actually something I'm going to add to my aquarium. I'll just quickly go over here, and I'll set this wall into red stained glass. As you can see, now my customers can see the inside of my aquarium all the time. Wait a second. Louis, what are you doing? Are, are you copying my idea? Uh, no, obviously not. This is a way better color, you know, red. Red is a better color for looking in through the windows and looking out through the windows. <laughs> I would never copy you. Well, it definitely seems that way, Louis. Uh, no, no, it's completely different. Anyways, keep building your aquarium. We only have like 10 minutes left. <gasps> Only 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I have to rush. Oh, jeez, guys. That was super close. Pip almost figured out that I copied his design. Anyways, let's just keep building this aquarium now. So this is the main lobby area. So I need to go ahead and add some fish into here. I'll start off by adding a nice little area here out of prismarine blocks. I'll make it nice and big, just like this. Let's see how many blocks this is across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I need to make it 12 on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like this? Yep, I think that'll do. Now, I just need to fill in this area with these prismarine blocks. This will be the fish tank for a bunch of nice fish. No hostile fish are allowed in this one. This is going to be a tank for clownfish, flounders, salmon, all types of really nice looking fish. This way, once my guests walk in, they will be extremely happy. By seeing some really nice looking fish, they won't want to leave. If they walk in too quickly and see scary <laughs> sharks, they might want to leave straight away, which I do not want. Um, Louis, didn't you just say that you were going to add sharks into your aquarium? Um, of course I am, Pip. I'm going to add sharks to this aquarium just at the end. This means my customers will love my aquarium before they see the sharks. But all the customers are going to run away when they see the sharks. Uh, well, that's the point. I'm going to put all of the sharks right at the end. That way, my customers will enjoy my aquarium. And if they get scared of the sharks, at least they'll be finished with it. Well, I guess that makes sense. But I'm not going to put sharks in my aquarium. I don't want to scare my customers. If Mikey walks into your aquarium and doesn't see anything that gets that blood pumping, maybe they'll just leave. It'll be too boring for your customers. Louis, this is an aquarium, not a roller coaster. Uh, I guess you're right, but whatever. I'm adding shocks to my aquarium anyways. 
As you can see, I've just finished one of my tanks, and I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of water, just with this command. Boom! And as you can see now, I have a ton of space to put some fish. So I'll quickly go ahead and get some really nice fish. I'm going to get some puffer fish, these butterfly fish, some clown fish, tropical fish, and just some regular old fish. So let me just throw a ton of these in here. And as you can see, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors too. This means that when JJ and Mikey come in here, they are going to see fish that match with their favorite colors. As you can see, there's some red ones that JJ would like. And there's some green ones over here that Mikey will like. There is no way they don't like my aquarium. But that is one fish tank done. Now it's just time to decorate it and make it look really cool. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and use some of these oak logs. And I'm going to build them up like foundations around my fish tanks. I'll also use these dark prismarine stairs to go around it. This way it looks like it's connected to the aquarium, like this. Then I'll go ahead and build around like this. This will make it look like a really cool frame. Almost like my customers are looking at a painting. It's so beautiful. I'll just do the same thing with the stairs on each of these areas like this. And around the back, I think I'll leave it. No one is going to go around that area over here. Here. And just to make sure, I'll add some of these stairs right here and some logs that go up to block any customers from going around the back of these aquariums. It's very dangerous. If any of the glass breaks, there might be a leak and my customers might drown. I do not want that. Let me just cover the entire top side of this aquarium so none of my fish escape. But speaking of fish, I wonder what Pip's up to right now. Let me go and take a peek. But it would be cheating if I went over there and just walked inside. Maybe I should go invisible to take a quick look at what Pip's up to. Here we go! All right, guys, so now I'm invisible. I can walk around Pip's base and see what they're up to inside of this aquarium. It seems like they've started with a glass floor and some really dangerous lasers right at the start. What if the customers walk into them? Uh, they'll die. Doopy doopy doo. Putting fish on the floor. Look, we're having a dance party. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that's crazy, guys. Look, the fish are all dying. They're suffocating. Wait. Why do they not want to dance with me anymore? Oh my gosh, guys. Pip just killed a bunch of innocent fish. This aquarium is already looking terrible. But maybe I can make it look a little bit worse. <laughs> if I just get this block over here and then fly all the way over here and take this one too, I can replace all of this glass with red glass. Boom! Like that! That looks so much better! What happened to my floor? Or if I find whoever did this, I'm gonna get you! Oh, guys, I think it's time for me to take my leave. Pip is super angry, but that was so funny! Anyways, now I'm back at my side, I can keep working on my aquarium. I think what I'm going to do is just make some of these red carpets like this, going towards the actual fish tanks like this. This way, my customers' feet will not get sore when they're walking around and taking a look at these fish. But now, guys, I've got a really good idea. As you can see, this fish tank is square, just like that. But what if I made a round fish tank? It would look so much cooler. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to paste in this command, just like this. And now, I have a circular shape just like that. This makes my aquarium look so cool, because not only do I have a big square tank, but I have a round tank. Have you guys ever seen a round tank in an aquarium before? Like the video if you have. I'll be checking how many likes this video has at the end. But now what I have to do is add the glass. So let me get some glass blocks like this and just fill in an area around the side. I have a way that can make building this really quick. Let's just get the shape built like this. And now all I have to do is get my axe like this. Place one glass block like this. Break it and go to the other side and then do the same thing. Now, I can stand right in the middle of these glass blocks like this and do slash slash copy. Now, when I fly up into the air, I can paste in the glass walls like this. This is just like what I did with the walls of my aquarium. 
And I think that will do for the amount of blocks we'll use. All I have to do now is just go all the way back and do the same thing like this. So I'll get the axe like this. I'll go around the other side and do the same. And then I'll do two commands. One that replaces the glass with prismarine, and then one that replaces the air with prismarine, just like this. Then I just have to cut off the excess layers like this around the outside. Now I have an awesome looking circular tank. But what fish should I put in here? Wait, I've got a good idea. That will be the tank for the friendly fish, and this will be the tank for the slightly less friendly fish, like puffer fish. As you know, they are super poisonous. So let's go inside and fill up this fish tank inside here. I'll just need some water buckets. And let's get going. Just like this, I can fill up the inside of my aquarium tank. I also have to do the roof as well, or my fish will be flowing everywhere. Here we go. The roof is almost complete, and we are done. Now, I just need to get some fish to put on the inside. Like this. Look at these tiny little puffer fish. They are really small and harmless until you go into survival mode. Then they puff up and get really big and scary. And there we go. Look at all of these puffer fish. This will be a dangerous puffer fish enclosure. But now that I think about it, I need to put some signs on each of these tanks to let my customers know what fish they are. So for this one, I will put friendly fish tank. This is where the friendly fish reside. And in this one, I will put poisonous fish tag. And I'll put puffer fish. Like that. Oh, and I almost forgot. I need to put the price of tickets on the front. So I think I'll make my tickets extremely cheap. This way, I'll get a ton of customers here. Uh, my tickets will be $2.50. Just like that. Whoa, this aquarium is looking awesome from the outside so far. I am super proud of myself. There is no way that Pip's noob build even wins this build challenge. Mikey and JJ's family are going to hate it. Whereas if they look at mine, they are going to love it. Hmm, but... Now that I think about it, this base is really red, meaning it'll only be good enough for JJ's family. But if Mikey's family comes to take a look, they won't like it at all because there's no green inside and no turtles. So that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to build the biggest turtle enclosure you've ever seen. And to do it, I'm going to use commands. So I'll start from this area right here. And I'll go all the way into this corner too. Now, all I have to do is set this to quartz. I'll set it all to quartz like this. And turtles don't need to be kept inside of massive glass enclosures. They only need a tiny bit of glass to keep them inside. Because they cannot climb walls or even jump around. So let's go ahead and just do a nice simple command. I'll make the walls too tall like this. And I'll set them to glass like that. Now I have my enclosure space. I just need to add in some water now. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this enclosure like this so that my turtles can be nice and wet. There we go! Now I just need some turtle spawn eggs and I can put a ton of them inside. This way, Mikey is going to be extremely happy to see this. Mikey is going to check out my base and rate it a 10 out of 10, while JJ is also going to rate my base a 10 out of 10 because it's red. Oh, Louie, you should see my exhibits. So I have a squid exhibit and I have Mikey's family exhibit. Wait, am I allowed to come into your base and just take a little peek? Um, as long as you pay for the tickets. Okay, fine. Let me pay for a ticket. How much is it? One million dollars. One million dollars? I don't even think Mikey and JJ have that much money. I have to make money somehow, Louie. Oh, okay, fine, Pip. Look, I'll give you some um, totally not counterfeit money. There you go. That's like a, a billion dollars right there. Oh my gosh, a billion dollars? Oh, here's your ticket, Louie. Thank you very much. And oh, wait a second. Where is the enclosure in here? It says Mikey's family. So surely you should have put some turtles in here, right? No, no, no. Mikey's family's outside right now. Wait a second, Pip. What are you saying? This is gonna be Mikey's room and the exhibit so people can come in and see Mikey's family. What? You're going to put Mikey's family inside of a room in a glass box in your aquarium? I don't know about you, Pip, but that's a big invasion of privacy. What? Louie, 
People love Mikey's family, and I think Mikey would love to see all the people. Oh, well, we'll see what happens when I come to rate this base. I'm pretty sure you're going to lose so far. You better keep building! Huh. If only Mikey would rate my base, he would give it a 10 out of 10. Guys, Pip is being so weird. Why did they put a Mikey's family enclosure inside of their aquarium? I guess this is easy enough for me because I don't even need to troll Pip. They're doing terribly so far. My aquarium is going to be super secure. So maybe I should start on a vault room to keep all of the money I get from selling tickets. I'll go ahead and make a big door over here, just like this. I'm only going to build my vault room so far, because I'm going to be going ahead and building some traps later in the video. I just need to count how many blocks are here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is how many blocks I want for my floor. So I'll set it to quartz blocks, and that's 20 of them. Like this. And as you can see, this will be the floor for the next room in my aquarium, where my vault will be. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just add some walls on the inside. I'm going to make the vault room spiral around to the inside where the chest will be in the middle. I'll make the walls out of glass too. So let me just do this. Stained glass and then 20 blocks. Just like that. Hmm, that's not right. Let me just try a different command. And this one should work. Just like this. Now I've just got to go up as many blocks as I think my wall should be. I'll go all the way up into the air like this and build a huge wall. This way my vault is able to be seen from the outside, but nobody can get inside. I'm also going to redo my door frame like this because it disappeared. And there we go. Now we have a big cylinder room to keep all of my loot. Now all I'm going to do is just set up the walls so that I can put my traps in later. Let me go ahead and add another wall a little bit closer inside of the room like this and build it up the same amount. And then finally, I'll go ahead and add a very, very small room inside like this. This is where all of my loot will be kept. Just like this. And now I'm going to put a chest on the inside where all of my loot will be, just like that. So first of all, I'm going to put some really, really secure loot inside. And that is going to be a ton of money. This is what we got from our customers every time they visit my aquarium. I'm also going to put a ton of diamond blocks inside. This is out of my own pocket. These are my personal savings. And if Pip can get to the end of my base, they can keep every single penny. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get an anvil like this because I'm going to be enchanting some netherite's armor, which will be my prized possession to keep inside of my vault. Let me just get a book really quickly. Hmm, I think protection four will do. Let's go ahead and add a ton of books in here like this. And now I have a ton of OP armor. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside this chest now. Safe and sound. No thieves will get to this one. And just in case they do, I'll make sure I have some extra layers of defense. Like this massive lava pool I'm going to put around it. I'll make it a few blocks wide, just so that no potential thieves can get to it. And there we go. I've added three layers of lava around the outside. This way, if any thieves try to get to my chest, they're going to have to jump into the lava to get anything from here. But that should be good enough for my traps so far. I'll add some more as the video goes on. I need to work on the last little bits of the inside of my aquarium. As you can see, my turtle enclosure is going really well. None of them have escaped. But now I want one more enclosure on the inside. And this will be for the predators, like sharks! So let me go ahead and make a really big and scary tank. I'm going to set this to quartz blocks and red concrete. This will make it look like blood is in the water. Then I'll also do the exact same thing with the glass. I'll be using this command to make a wall, and I'll set it to glass and red stained glass. This way, it looks like there's a bunch of blood on the side of the tank. Doesn't this look cool, guys? Now, all I need to do is fill this tank up with water. So I'll do one more command to do that, like this. 
And now all I have to do is fill up this tank with a bunch of scary sharks. Oh no, guys. I don't want to stay in this water for too long. I'm really scared. What if they can smell my blood? This is one of the scariest tanks I've ever seen. I'm really scared I'm going to get eaten. But now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just add a secret door to my vault. Because there's no way I can let anyone inside. It's just too wide open at this point in time. So let me just empty it. Let me just fill in that like this. And I'm going to be using something called a keypad door. This way, if anyone wants to get to my secret loot, they are going to need to know the passcode. Hmm, what should I have it as? Hmm, let me look around and just see if I can figure something out. Maybe I should do the amount of turtles in this enclosure. Or maybe I should do the amount of sharks in the shark tank. Wait, I've got a good idea. I'll have it so that the passcode is the amount of kelp inside of this tank. So let's count. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of kelp. So I'm going to have the passcode as twelve. So now if you put in twelve into the keypad, it will open up. This aquarium's vault is extremely secure now. There is no way anybody gets inside. This will keep Pesky Pip away from my resources, just like that. But anyways, they probably won't even get that far because they'll be so interested by everything in my aquarium, they'll want to stay in this room forever. But that makes me think, what has Pip been working on in the time that I've been building this? Let me go and quickly check the inside. Uh, Pip, can I come in your base? Yeah, come on in, Louis. You, you already paid, so I, I, I'll just let you in. All right, let me take a look in here. Have you added anything new or different to here? Yeah, I've added a bunch. Okay, let me take a look. Uh, what is this, Pip? See, I, I added some ducks because people love to see ducks. Uh, Pip? Ducks aren't fish. They don't belong in an aquarium. They belong in a farm. Uh, maybe I should just let them out. Come no, on, no, 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 no. Keep the ducks in there, Louie. People will pay good money to see these ducks. Okay, Pip. Well, um, explain to me what this next aquarium tank is. Oh, this is just the normal fish. Like, you can see all these normal fish just, like, swimming around. You know, nothing really special about it. Um, Pip, I can see a bunch of normal fish, and then I can see a bunch of abnormal fish. Why aren't there zombies in your fish tank? Well, an aquarium is just stuff you find in the sea, and I found some of those in the sea earlier, so I decided to put them in my aquarium. Uh, okay, well, I won't question your logic, Pip, but what is that in the corner? Oh, that's my really special exhibit. The Louie exhibit. Wait, the Louie exhibit? Uh, wait, why is it just a jail cell? And why is there, like, a toilet in the corner? Oh, it's for you, Louie. I wanted to do something special, so I made an exhibit just for you. Are you telling me that you're going to lock me in there and make the customers watch me take a pee? Well, they're gonna pay me. So... Oh, you know what, Pip? I, I give up with your aquarium. I'm not going to come back until it's done. And it better be amazing, okay? Oh, Louis, it's gonna be amazing. All right, we'll see about that. I'm gonna Wait, get Louis, back to my Wait, Louis, where are you going? Uh, you have to go into your exhibit. I'm not going in there! Oh, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to my aquarium and putting a Pip exhibit in there. <gasps> You wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, I would, and I will! All right, guys, so now I'm super angry. I'm going to add a pip enclosure. Let's see where to put it. Maybe here, or maybe here. Uh, oh, wait, I've got a good idea. I'll put it right at the entrance here, made out of ghost blocks. This way, Pip will have no choice but to fall into the Pip enclosure. And I can use these things called goggles of true vision, which means I can see exactly where the ghost blocks are, and I don't fall through them. Now, I just need to make an enclosure underneath. This is where my customers will be able to see that disgusting duck. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to add a little area underneath like this. This way, I can have plenty of space for people to view Pip. Now, I just need some glass like this so that Pip cannot escape. And I'll fill the outside of this area like this with glass. This way, Pip is going to get stuck in this room and just be stuck right here. And everybody's going to laugh at them because they look so silly. 
Now let's just add some quartz blocks to the ground. And you know what? I don't even think they deserve quartz. They deserve quartz and some dirt because they're dirty. Now I'll just clear out a section around the outside of this right here. And this way, people can come down and see Pip from underneath the ground. I'm almost done digging out some area underneath. And there we go. Now I'll go ahead and add some iron block walls. Let's just put in this command here and boom. I also need the floor to look really nice so that my customers won't get really scared. I also need to add some nice iron blocks to the ground too so that my customers can enjoy the area. Now all I have to do is add some ladders. Maybe here. This will do. And it's conveniently stashed behind the cash register too. So Pip has to fall inside. Anyways, guys, what I'm going to do with this door is I'm going to make it a little bit taller because I just realized the glass in this enclosure blocks off these ghost blocks. So if Pip walks in from this area like this, they won't fall in and they'll be able to get in scot-free. So I'm going to just build up these walls right here so that Pip has to walk inside and fall in. Now I'll just go ahead and get a nice little trap door that I can climb up and down whenever I want to see Pip inside of a cage. Perfect! I'll also go ahead and put a sign right here saying, Disgusting Duck Enclosure! That sounds just like Pip. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, guys. So now that I've done the entire inside of my aquarium, meaning I've done one fish tank, two fish tank, the deadly fish tank. Wait, where did all my sharks go? It doesn't matter. I'll add them back. And my turtle enclosure. Now, I'm going to start working on this trap vault. This way, if Pip decides they want all of my money, they'll have to really fight to get it. So let's go ahead and just add a wall here so Pip can't jump across and start working on some traps. I think first, we'll work on a really nice and simple trap. Just a nice little lava pool. It's basically impossible to get across, but if Pip is smart, they'll be able to get across with a nice little method that I'll be showing you guys. After all, I need to be able to get inside of my vault too, especially in survival mode. All right, so here we are. Now what I'm going to do is get a chest and some boats. If you guys know what I'm doing, comment down below. But I'm going to fill this full of boats like this. And now, if Pip is really good at Minecraft, they can do a dream boat launch across like that! That is my first trap! But now, to stop Pip from getting any further, I'm going to add another trap. And that will be a nice little bit of parkour. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some fake water underneath it. This way, Pip is going to think that this entire area is safe. And they could just swim through. Because after all, they are a duck and they love the water. But as you can see, it's very dangerous if I switch to survival mode and get inside. Ow, ow, ow. It really hurts. So I'll do a few parkour jumps going across this fake water. This way, Pip is going to have to do some crazy jumps to get through. I'll also add some ladder jumps too to make it a little bit more difficult. Now all I'm going to do is add a nice little slime jump here. This way, Pip has to jump over this wall here. It's going to be super difficult, but I think it's possible. Just like that. And just so that Pip doesn't cheat and jump across the wall, I'll be adding a ton of spikes. As you guys know, they are extremely spiky and very, very dangerous. And the best part is you cannot break them in survival mode, meaning Pip will have to do the parkour to get up here. All right, now that I've done this parkour, I've got a really good idea for what the next room can be. As you guys know, thieves are not good at drawing, and that's why I'm going to add an art room. And if Pip draws a terrible picture, I will kill them and not let them through into my vault room. So let's go ahead and get these things called a painting. I'll make it big enough and then add it to this wall. Like this! Boom! Perfect! So I'm going to get these things called easels and add these little paintings like this. And as you can see, with these palettes, you can draw on them. And then when you go out, you can see what you drew. So I'll be placing a chest in the middle and I'll be telling Pip to paint a picture that is better than mine. If it is, they can pass. But if it's not, I will kill them! All right, so now I'm going to add a wall here, and I'm going to let Pip get into the next section of my security defense. 
Pip is one step closer to beating my base. Now, what I'll do is I'll add a ton more area over here where I will add a wall. And then I will go around the outside again, adding more traps. I have an idea on what to do. I'm going to use fake water and real water to make a trap called Guess the Real Water. I'll give Pip a 50-50 chance of succeeding. I'll add fake water over here, and I'll add real water over here. Now, I'll add some walls going up like this. Now, I'm going to add a sign to tell Pip what this is. Guess the real water. So now, if Pip's in survival mode and goes into this left one, they'll be fine. But if they go into this right one, they'll die! I'll do this a few more times, just to make this trap really hard. I'll add the fake water on the left this time, and the real water on the right. And then block them off with these walls, so Pip can't just cheat. Boom! Like that! Now I'll do one more. This one will definitely catch Pip out. I'm going to be doing three different waters. I'll do one fake one there. I'll do one fake one here. And then I'll do one real one there. Now all I have to do is block them off like this. I don't know if Pip is going to guess the right one this time. But now they'll make it to my next room like this. And don't worry, guys. Pip is not going to get through this. I've been using iron blocks, which is extremely strong. So Pip is not going to be able to break any of this. But now I think I'm going to do one more deadly trap. I'm going to do a red light, green light room. So let me just get some red wool and some lime wool like this. This will be the starting line. And this is where Pip will start the red light, green light challenge. And then I'll run all the way over here. This is where it will end. Now all I have to do is fill up this area with super deadly traps. This is so that Pip can't run extremely fast through my entire trap. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a beacon like this. I'll also get some red stained glass and some lime stained glass. Now I'll make the lights with a beacon like this. And if I put glass on top, it changes the color of the beacon like that. This is going to be how our red light, green light system will work. I'll get some buttons like this too to activate it. All I need to do is just put a piston on one side like this and a red glass on the other. Then all I have to do is connect them up to some buttons like this. Now I'll be standing here while Pip makes a run for it. Right now it's green light, but if I press this button, it will switch to red light. This is when Pip will have to stop, and there is no way they can move, or I will kill them. <laughs> then, if I press this button, it will switch back to green light, meaning Pip can start running again. This is a really cool trap, guys. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. But now I just had an idea for a really cool room. I'm going to give myself some command blocks, which means I'm a hacker now, guys. And I'm going to set a ton of them around the room like this. I'll be making sure that this room has walls on either side so that Pip can't escape. Let me just do this. And then I will add a ladder on the outside. Just there. Now Pip will climb over the top and jump into this room where they will get stuck. And they will have to guess the correct command block to press or else they will get attacked by a deadly mob. I just need to figure out which mobs first. So I'll do summon, and maybe I'll spawn a zombie. Hmm, no, that wouldn't do. I'm going to spawn a creeper right here. And now all I have to do is paste this command into each of these command blocks. All of these command blocks are going to spawn a creeper, and it will blow Pip up. But this one in this corner right here is going to be the correct one which will teleport them outside. I just need to paste the command. Now, as you can see, if I press this button, it will take me outside of the creeper room. I just need to place a bunch more buttons all over this room like this. Pip is going to be terrified when they die about three times in this room. And if they die more times in my base than I die in theirs, that means I win this build challenge and I get all of these diamonds. But stay tuned until the end, guys, because we need to see who will win. Now, from this area, I'm going to do one last trap before they make it into my vault. And this room will be extremely deadly. 
as you guys know, if you get pressure plates and lava, lava cannot go through any of these pressure plates. They act as a barrier stopping this lava from getting across which makes it like a really deadly jump. I'll go ahead and place a ton of these pressure plates in this room and a ton of lava buckets like this. I'll make sure that there's a ton of these jumps like this. Now, I can go ahead and get some fake lava. And if I place it right here, as you guys can see, it dips down a tiny little bit. This fake lava does not kill you. As you can see, I can stand inside of it in survival mode. It gives me fire resistance and regeneration. This means that if Pip wants to get through this room, they are going to have to spot the dips in the lava and find their way through the fake areas, which I will be spreading around random areas in this base, just like this. There we go. Now I have completed my lava maze trap. All I have to do now is add some ladders going up here. And then I'll let them climb into my vault room. But they won't be getting to my secret vault just yet. And there we go, guys. They have successfully made it into my vault room and passed all of my traps. But I really doubt they are going to get past everything. It's really, really difficult. My base is the best right now. And I'm pretty sure JJ and Mikey's family will agree. All right, guys. Let me just go through my base one more time. As you can see, there is my puffer fish enclosure, my fish enclosure, my Mikey's family turtle enclosure, and, uh, wait a second. What happened to my shark enclosure? Is this a duck enclosure? Oh, Pip has definitely been over here, guys. Now I have to kill all of these ducks. Oh, you know what? I think this is grounds for revenge. Once I've killed all of these ducks, I'm going to go into Pip's base and start trolling them. This way, when the build challenge is over, they will have a terrible base and lose automatically. I just need to go ahead and fill up this shark tank one more time, just like this. And then I can spawn some more sharks inside these tanks. Look how deadly they are. There we go, guys. My sharks are now inside of my fish tank, and I can go and troll Pip. You know what? I'm super angry, so I'm going to go over without any invisibility. I think I can make my way into Pip's base and ruin it without even trying. Oh, Pip! I'm here now! Um, I'm uh, at your base. Are you here? Oh, sorry, Louis. I was just working on my secret base. What brings you here, Louis? Oh, well, I just thought I would take a little look inside of your aquarium. Um, alone, actually. I just thought, uh, um, I'd let you know I'm here. That's all. Yeah, Louis, come check it out. Look, I have the bee exhibit right here. And the mm. witch exhibit. Oh, where did the witches go? Uh, I don't know where they went, but... <laughs> well, Pip, this bee enclosure is looking, uh, okay. But you know what? I think it needs to look more like an aquarium. As you know, bees can uh, survive underwater, I'm pretty sure. Let me just add Wait, some water they? in there. Wait, Louis, there all the bees, they're escaping. That's so much better. Wait a second, let me just put some more water in there. And no, Louis, that is stop, looking stop, stop. awesome. Stop, Louis, you're killing all the bees. No, I'm just putting them in water, like in an aquarium. Oh my gosh, Louis, I didn't kill your exhibit. Uh, well, I didn't know you came over to my exhibit, Pip. <laughs> I'm lying, guys. I completely know that Pip came over to my exhibit. I'm trolling them so well right now. All right, but Louie, come, come check out my new exhibits. You haven't seen these exhibits. Whoa, is that a witch enclosure? Yep. Um, Pip, wh why do you have them in water? As you know, witches love lava. You know, they use lava to brew their spells. Oh, they use lava? I, I didn't know that, Louis. Wait, let me... Let me just quickly demonstrate. As you can see, let's get rid of this water. They actually hate water, you know. I didn't know that. Now, all I have to do is give them some lava so they can brew their potions. Yep, 100%. Wait, Louis, why are they dying? Wait, wait, are you are you guys okay? Or wait... Maybe they're not dying. Guys, this is so funny. Pip is so confused. Um, yeah, Pip, these witches can survive in lava, but, you know, I think they need to stay in there a little bit longer. They're not hot enough just yet. How hot do they need to be, Louie? Oh, they need to be really hot for their spells to work, but don't don't worry about that so far. Uh, we'll just keep looking around uh, your base. Uh, guys, uh, all right, Louie. Guys, as you know, the witches are using fire resistance potions, but that doesn't last forever. They're gonna die eventually. But 
Wait a second. Pip, what is that thing? Why have you got a fat man inside of your enclosure? Look, I have this fat man. He's so big. People are going to want to come in and see the fat man. Um, I don't know about that, Pip. And why is his name Barack... Baracko the Sun Chief. You know what? I think he needs some water, too. He is a Sun Chief, after all. Well, Louie, I was thinking about making your exhibit fat, man, but this guy is pretty fat, too. Wait, what? You're going to turn my exhibit into the fat man exhibit? You know what, Pip? I'm done with this. I'm done with this. You know what? I'm going to just quickly do something. What are you going to do, Louie? Look at this, guys. I'm going to use this command to make this entire aquarium look disgusting! Oh, wait. No, that's actually really good. It's red. Wait, why is everything so red? And why is the Sun Chief dancing? Um, he's dancing uh, because he wants to. What is this? What is going on? Louis, did you do this? Um, no. I totally didn't just cause pandemonium in your base. Uh, Louis, I'm get leaving! Out, get out! Oh, Louis, why did you do this? My exhibit is so messed up right now. There's red wool. There's this random guy doing spells. The bees are gone. The witches are dying. Oh, sorry, Pip. I, I completely didn't know that everything would happen so wrong in there. I'm kidding, guys. I knew exactly what was happening, and I ruined the entire of Pip's base. This is hilarious. This way, I am guaranteed to win this build challenge. But anyways, guys, I think that's all the time we have to finish our bases. It's time to meet Pip in the middle to see whose base is the best. Oh, Pip, I'm here, and I'm here to check out your aquarium now. Oh, feel free to check it out, Louie. All right, Pip, just explain this base to me. Take me step by step. I need to know everything about this aquarium. Well, right here is a super secure entrance, which it, I still don't know why it's red, but it's supposed to be yellow. But I've got some lasers, and mm. if you come in here, you know, you already saw the ticket booth, you know, the one million dollar price tag. You know, we're not... We're not the poor aquarium over here. We're the rich aquarium. Okay, well, uh, Pip, I'm going to quickly just pay you in steak because I have no oh. uh, money right now in survival mode. Oh. Well, you already paid me, Louie, but steak is like the last thing I would take as payment. Steak is huh. disgusting. Oh, whatever. It's better than seeds. Anyways, what is this all about? I see you've got all of your enclosures, like the squid and uh, Mikey's family, which... Hey, they're still not in here, by the way. Oh, they'll be in there soon. Don't worry, Louie. In the next exhibit. Okay, you've got your ducks, normal fish. You've got a, a fat man. Where did he go, by the way? Wait, uh, are you... Wait, hold on. Go, go inside. I think he's still in there. You you think? Uh, I don't... Yeah, go I, inside. I don't know about this, Pip. It seems a little bit strange. Um, what? What is in here? Uh, wait. Pip, did you just trap me in the Fat Man enclosure? <laughs> now all my customers will see the new Fat Man. No, that's it. I am breaking free. You know what? Where is your secure base? I need to take all of your loot right now for doing that to me. Well, Louie, the entrance to my secure base is somewhere around here, but you probably won't like it. Hmm, let me take a look around then. Maybe it's up here on these ladders or... Inside of a squid enclosure? Um, let me take a look around. Uh, I don't see anything. Maybe something around here is like a secret block or a secret door. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh. I mean, Louis, it's honestly not that secret. Um, Pip, please, please don't tell me it's inside the Louis enclosure. <laughs> I don't know, Louie. Is it inside the Louie enclosure? Oh. Why don't you find out? Let me go look. I swear. If it's in here, I'm going to make you do my chores for like a week. Let's see. Uh, uh wait. No, no, I'm trapped inside again. Uh, oh, wait a second. But there's a really suspicious toilet down here and I can see your name tag, Pip. It seems like your secure base was just down in the toilet. <laughs> All right, explain these traps to me. What is this? All right, Louie. Well, our first trap is the guess the fake lava. Wait, guess the fake lava? Uh, yep. I did something similar to that. Are you copying me? What did you do, Louie? I did guess the fake water. 
That's completely different. I didn't copy you. That's guess the fake water. This is guess the fake lava. All right, fine. Well, whatever. Let me guess the fake lava. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. All right, Pip. Let me take a look here. Maybe I could just do this by sheer luck. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a baby by its toe. If it cries, uh, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's the middle one. No, no, Louis. It's the far left one. It's the far left one. Oh my uh, gosh. Pip, I just made it. It's not the far left one. All right. Here's the trivia portion of my traps. Mm, let's see. What is the best color? Well, it's red, of course. But, uh, Pip. Do you sure, think I'm red. dumb? Get in there, Do you get in think there. I'm dumb? There is lava right there. I would never walk in there. Oh, I guess because it's your question room, it's going to be biased. So I'll go through yellow. Now, what is this question? How many All ducks right. does it take to change a light bulb? So it's either IDK, meaning I don't know, or a hundred. Well, knowing you and your dumb little brain, Pip, it would take a hundred of you to change a light bulb, but... It's once again, I can see the lava. Pip, your traps are really, really bad. Well, I put, I don't know, because I, I actually don't know. I've never tested that. You've never seen how many ducks can change a light bulb? Have you never changed a light bulb in your life? Oh, well, we don't really use light. We use candles, so we don't really need to use light bulbs. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. But what is this last question? What is right, Pip's favorite game? This is the game? hardest one. Let me see. Pip's favorite game. Guys, I don't think I know enough about Pip yet to know what the favorite game is. Um, well, you're playing Minecraft with me right now, so maybe Minecraft. Uh, whoa, it was the correct answer, and... Wait, it seems Roblox was the correct answer as well. They're both my favorite. Well, I have to admit, I have been enjoying Roblox recently. But anyways, Pip, it seems like I've just walked into a room full of chests. Explain this to me. Well, read the sign, Louie. You have uh, to find the code, and the code is in one of these chests. Oh, well, that's easy. I'll just open them all in very quick succession, and look, there it is. It oh, was that easy. That was supposed to take you way longer than that, Louie, but fine, you got it. It took me like five seconds. What is the code? Zero, zero, seven. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm in. Whoa. Uh-oh. I just walked into a room full of lava. Louis, this is the ultimate parkour test. You'll never get through this room alive. Oh, yeah? Let's see about that. I am a parkour legend. As you know, I'm really good at these fence jumps. Whoa. Whoa. And maybe I'll just do a diagonal jump to make it easier. Whoa, Pip, you almost oh, killed me. Oh, you died. No! You died. Oh, Pip, you totally pushed me off. <laughs> That's cheating. That doesn't count. That's one death for Louie. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're going to die about a million times in my base. So uh, one death is nothing. Let me just get back and whoa, what is this room? Can you survive the water slide, Louie? Can I survive a water slide? Do you think I'm a baby? Look, I can just go down it like this. Woohoo! That was super cool. Oh, how'd you do that so easily? Um, because I'm a human. We love water slides. Uh, you ducks uh. do not. Anyways, is this the end of your base? There's nothing in these chests. Oh, well, I didn't think you would actually make it this far, so I didn't put anything in the chest. Are you kidding me, Pip? This knocks your base down by, like, five points. This is terrible. Well, I never thought you would make it. Oh, whatever. Let's go look at my base. Then you will be gobsmacked. All right, Louie. I, I doubt your aquarium's any better than mine. Oh, yeah? Well, take a look. It's made out of extremely strong iron, has a beautiful arched doorway, and um, best of all, it has a really funny enclosure I think you'll like. Wait, <laughs> how did this happen? Oh, Pip. It seems you've fallen into my disgusting duck enclosure for uh, ducks like you. Let me just do this really quick. And look, you have a ton of visitors in this aquarium looking at you right now. Wait, why are they looking at me? 
Um, because they think you look really funny. Oh, Louie, I'm tired of this. I I'm breaking out. I don't oh. want to be an exhibit. You know what? Fine. I guess I'll let you get out just this once. But you have to buy a ticket. I mean, all I've got is the steak that you gave me earlier. Well, I guess that is worth a dollar. Let me just give you a aquarium admission ticket just for <laughs> you. All right, Louie. W which one should I check out first? Well, that's up to you, Pip. Take a look around at your heart's desire. Look at whatever place you want first. All right, well, first of all, we have the poisonous fish, and then we have the friendly fish. I don't really like poisonous fish, so I think I'm going to check out the friendly fish first. And, um... I mean, there, there's so many fish in here. How'd you get so many fish in here, Louie? Um, because I'm a professional builder. You should not doubt my professional building skills, Pip. I'm a pro! But do you see any fish in there that you like? Maybe they're uh, your favorite color or something really cool. Yeah, I think I like this one right here, Louie. Wait, Pip! No, 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 you're, you're ruining my aquarium. Oh, <sighs> I just wanted the fish. Oh, whatever. Come on, follow me. We're going to go over here now to the poisonous fish enclosure. Don't they look so cute and scary? And Oh, no, I just broke that. That wasn't your fault. Poisonous fish? Oh, my gosh. How are they going to poison me? Well, as you know, these are puffer fish, and they blow up to be ten times their size, and they are filled with deadly poison. That sounds so scary, Louie. Yeah, I barely managed to get them in here alive. I'm just so strong and handsome and beautiful. Um, anyways. Uh, all right, let's see what comes next. This is the turtle enclosure. This is for Mikey. Mikey will love this part of my base, especially the rest of their family. Oh, are you putting Mikey's family in an exhibit too? No, this is the turtle enclosure, because Mikey loves turtles. Mikey is like a human-turtle hybrid, so this is kind of weird looking, but it works! Oh, I guess it does, Louie, but what's this over here? Well, this is what I'm saving for last. I'm going to quickly go into my enclosure and spawn in a bunch of great white sharks! No! Not the sharks! <laughs> I don't like sharks! Ow, and they're biting me! They're biting me! Yes, yes, come on, guys! Pip is almost running out of the base! Wait, it fell into the enclosure again! Get me out of here! No way, guys! Pip died to one of the sharks in my enclosure! This part was supposed to be, um, not deadly, but it seems like Pip found a way to die in the easiest part of my base! Oh, Louie, you're, you're putting your customers' lives in danger. Oh, no, I'm not. You just got too close to that enclosure. Anyways, this is all that's in the main room. Unless you want to try your luck at getting all of my secret loot in my vault. <gasps> what loot do you have in there, Louie? I, I want it all. Oh, nothing much. Just like some netherite armor, like um, a lifetime supply of seeds, um, a lot of diamonds. Just that kind of stuff. Nothing much. <laughs> A lifetime supply of seeds? G get me in there, Louie. Get me in there. What's the, what's the password? Well, I'm not telling you the password, Pip, but I can give you a small hint. It's right around here. Oh, Louie, it's in your chest, isn't it? It's in this chest. No, it's not. It's just tickets. Uh, you said it's around here, so surely it's like gotta be under here. If, if I was a passcode, where would I be? Hmm. Well, Pip, you're not going to find the passcode by looking in there, but you might if you just count a few things. Wait, should I count the kelp? Um, I'm not saying to do that or not to do that. Just do whatever you want. Wait, let's see how many kelp are down here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So oh, surely no. the passcode's gotta um, be 12, right? No, 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 Pip, it's not 12! It's not 12! One, two. No! And I'm in! Oh, guys, this Let's is go. terrible! Pip is getting into my secret base already! Hopefully they die enough times. All right, Pip, you have to get over this massive lava pit, and it's going to be really difficult. 
Well, there are boats in this chest, but surely, you know, you love to copy me, Louis. So I don't even think this is real love. This is probably that fake. Oh, no, it's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> Pip, if you die more than once in my base, I automatically win this build challenge. So be careful. Oh, no, Louie. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm just going to put this boat down. You died a second time. Oh. oh, Pip, it seems like you've died more times in my base than I did in your base, which means I technically win. But I want to see if you can get through all of my traps to the end. Oh, no, Louie, this is only my first death, because that death beforehand, I died of a shark. I, I didn't die of you. Uh, that didn't count. Okay, fine. I'll take one life off your deaths so that you can try one more time. All right, Louie, well, you know I'm a parkour expert, so this is easy for me. Oh, no, you're not, Pip. You are not a <laughs> parkour pro. Oh, no! You know what, Pip? Since you're a parkour noob, I'm just going to let you get past that one. Because this next trap is going to be a lot harder. Oh, Louie, you know I'm a parkour pro. Y you just got lucky there. I can do this so easily. Go ahead. Come on. Keep jumping and jumping and... Whoa, you're actually doing it. But can you make this slime jump? Come on, I just need to use a bow. Oh, no, I can't use the bow. Okay, I I I'll just jump on the slime block. That seems easiest. Go ahead and... No, no, no! It seems like you fell down onto this slime block. But can you think of a good idea? And what? <laughs> you used a bow to cheat? Uh, you know what? I think I'll give you that one. That was big brain. I didn't cheat, Louie. You gave me these boats. All right, Pip. Come on down. We have another challenge to do. And this is a painting challenge. You're <gasps> going to have to paint a better picture than me. Oh, Lou, you know I'm a master artist. Um, no, I don't, Pip. I've never seen you try and paint before. This is your palette, and this is mine. Let's do a quick drawing and see whose comes out better. We only have a minute to draw. Well, wh what should I draw, Louie? Hmm, maybe you should draw me winning the build challenge. <laughs> Take a look at this, guys. I'm going to draw a picture of me stood on top of that massive pyramid of diamonds. This is going to be me after I win this build challenge. What are you drawing, Pip? Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a nice little black outline to the outside of my diamond pile. This will make it look more cartoony. Now, I'm also going to split up these sections here so it looks more like a big pile of diamond blocks instead of like some weird blue candle. I'm also going to split them up like this so you can see all of the separate diamond blocks. Doesn't this drawing look cool, guys? Comment down below if my drawing is better than Pip's already. Oh, Louie, I'm gonna draw you, but I'm gonna draw you burning alive! Burning alive? Uh, are you trying to kill me or something? This seems a little mean. Maybe. Uh, well, Pip, if you look at my painting, I'm adding shadows and lighting with this dark blue to make this diamond pyramid look really cool. Like, oh, diamond shmimans, whatever. Uh, my painting's gonna be better than yours anyways. Oh, Louis, diamonds don't matter. My painting's gonna be better than yours anyways. Oh, really? Well, I'm just about almost finished. I'm just drawing me stood on top of this diamond pile celebrating. I just need a color for my skin. Let me just get this and then put my head here. I also need my beautiful, luscious hair. So let me get that too. And I'll add my beautiful fringe on my head. Then I'll add an outline around the entire thing like this. This will be me celebrating after I become rich. And Mikey and JJ's family love my build. There we go. That is my drawing. Uh, how is yours coming along, Pip? Oh, um, look at my drawing, Louie. What is that? It, it's you, Louie. Um, Pip. Your drawing is kind of disturbing. You know what? I don't think I even want to kill you. You're looking at me with those murderous eyes. Uh, let's just uh, keep going. But, uh, guys, I think I'll let you choose because I'm really scared of Pip right now. Um, uh, whose drawing is better? If it's mine, subscribe. And if it's Pip's, comment down below. Anyways, come on, Pip. We are going to do three rounds of Guess the Real Water now. All right, um... Guess the real water. Uh, I'm gonna guess this one. Um, wait. Did I get jumped, it right? You jumped over it? 
Oh, I should have thought of that, guys. Pip could jump over all of these gaps. Uh, but you know what? You might be able to jump over that second one. But this third one, you are going to have to go through one of these water pools. All right. I'm going to jump over it. Wait. Oh, no, no. What? It's it was the it. real one as well. Pip. I don't know about you, but you have some kind of brain magic going on because I don't know how you just guessed that correctly. I I'm just smart, Louie. That's all. Oh, uh, whatever. Well, this one, you are going to have to use your skill to get across, not just your brain. All right. This is red light, green light. And right now, I'm on red light, so you're not able to move. But you have to get to this side to win. Are you ready? I was born ready, Louie. All right. Now it is green lights, Pip. Go ahead and start running. And red light. What? You're so quick. Well, Louie, that's just a perk of being a duck. I I'm so quick. And uh, look, I just changed it to green, so that means go. Oh, uh, you know what? That's it. You're not getting past these final rooms. This is a matter of life and death. If you fail these rooms even once, you lose this build challenge. Wait, what do these buttons do, Louie? How about you take a look? Wait, no, no, don't... No, no, no! Boom! Oh, my gosh, Pip! You just died again! No way! Get me out of here, Louie! I'm using these boats. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I guess you could cheat this room, but you've died. So, technically, you lose this bill challenge! All you have to do is get through this final room, and you're all done. All right, Louie, well... There's something going on with this lava. See, look, all of this lava is at the same level, but right here it dips. So um, let's see. I don't know what you're talking about, Pip. That. Oh, oh no, no! I'm oh. not burning! Pip, you figured out that it's fake lava. Oh, hopefully you can't get through the rest of them. Oh, no. Yes, I can, Louis. This is the easiest one. I thought you were a noob. What happened to that? You just suddenly got really big brain for some reason. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna win this build challenge. Oh, Louis, you know I've always secretly been a pro. All right, fine. Well, all you have to do now is jump down, take your loot. Go ahead. <gasps> There's so much money. Yeah, diamonds, netherite armor, money, and gold coins. Points. That is my loot. And uh, I will be giving you a lifetime supply of seeds. Don't forget <gasps> about that. Let's go. I won so much. Anyways, let's get back to JJ and Mikey's family and determine who won this build challenge. Come on. All right, Pip. So who do you think won today's build challenge? Well, Louie, I do think my aquarium is pretty good, but I did die a bunch of times at your aquarium, so I guess that does make yours kind of better. Wait, are you saying that I won today's build challenge, Pip? Oh, yes, Louie, I'm saying you won today's build challenge. You know what that means. Get in that hole! No, 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 my money, my money! Woohoo! And now I can enjoy all of these diamonds for myself! And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next video on your screen. Bye!